All right, guys, this story is fun. This story is fun. So there's an Arizona uh, governor candidate named Carrie Lake, and she's out of her damn mind. She's as Trumpy as the Trumpists can get. Um, and she went on Fox News to do an interview. She thinks she's freaking it here. And Brett Baer, to his credit, actually asked her a real question. Because this is one of those uh, conservatives who has now gone all in on culture war nonsense and is talking about gender ideologies being forced on our kids. And she's had a lot of critical things to say about, look at these degenerate drag queens and are they trying to groom our kids? I'm just asking questions. Um, well, she got caught, man. She got caught speeding. And Brett Baer asked this question. It doesn't look like he wants to engage in this back and forth, but he feels like he has to. Um, Look at this. She loses her mind when being called out over her hypocrisy. It says Arizona GOP candidate who criticized drag queens was once a fan, according to a drag queen. This is the quote. Arizona GOP gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, who has attacked drag queens as dangerous to children, attended the shows of drag queen Richard Stevens for more than 20 years and once hired him to perform at her home. Do you care to address that? I do care. I actually do care to address that. And I'm really shocked. I'm actually appalled. Okay, all right. I got I got to pause here. I don't I hate it when people do this. I hate it. Oh, how dare you, good sir? I'm shocked and I'm appalled. Just get to the fucking point. Don't load it up with all this flowery language. Get to the fucking point. But you can't because you don't want to because you're dodging because you're doing sophistry because you were caught and it's obvious. That Fox News would take defamatory story like that. And we are pursuing. There are pictures, bitch. It's a defamatory story. There are pictures. 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 All your anti-drag queen. This is degeneracy. This is bad. Are they grooming our kids? Drag queens are bad. And then there's multiple pictures of you going to drag shows. Own it. Own it, you lying little weasel. Own it. This is defamatory, and I expect better Fox News. What's defamatory? Is the picture that you took defamatory? Did you defame yourself? God, I hate these people. Legal action against this drag queen. I'm appalled that you would bring that up when you have not talked about our stolen election. You failed to talk about We just spent three that. questions. <laughs> no, no, you haven't talked about... What the fuck does that have to do with this? It has nothing to do with your hypocrisy. And by the way, like Brett Baer said just before this, in the interview, he already asked three questions about that. And they, she thinks, she's so dumb, she thinks it's like a layup. Why don't you talk about the stolen election? What do you mean, talk, as if it's factual? As if it hasn't been debunked in 47,000 different ways? You just want them to talk about it in, in a way that agrees with your narrative. Your narrative, which has been proven to be untrue. Dinesh D'Souza's movie, 2000 Mules, is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. There's nothing that even comes close to real evidence in that movie. 60 plus court cases, 60 court cases about a stolen election. Virtually everyone was laughed out of court, not just by Republican judges, which yes, by Republican judges, but also by conservative Republican judges appointed by Trump, told him, you're out of your fucking mind, get out of my courtroom. She acts like she's so smug, like the stolen election, why aren't you talking about the stolen election? Why aren't you talking about the stolen election? Why are I not talking about the thing that makes you look even dumber than you look right now? I am talking about it, and when I do talk about it, you don't like it because I tell the truth about it. It's so like talking about this. I just you asked you a number of questions about it. I played the Arizona this House is Speaker. The first of let's address, this is let's the address first of this story that's in the Washington Post. Every candidate takes wow. tough stories. Look at the pictures. I'm asking you to I'm, respond I'm to it. To Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures. This is her. This is a drag queen. This is her. This is a drag queen. What's defamatory here? What's defamatory? Oh, she'll explain what she thinks is defamatory. If you'd like it. to. I'm happy to address it, but I, I'm really disappointed in Fox. I thought you were a little better than CNN. <laughs> this is a person who I covered for decades, for decades, 20 years, and he's never been in my home. He says he's been in my home. Uh, for oh, so that's the only part of the story you're objecting to? Oh, that's the only part. The only. Oh, he's never been in my. He, so the claim is. The drag queen was brought over for some sort of party or some sort of birthday or whatever. And she's like, that is not true. Okay, what about the decades of you going there? What about the pictures of you? This is something that the, the, some of the true believers on the right would look at as you're being a degenerate. You're showing degenerate behavior. You're just, just going to dodge that part of it? Of course you are. Of course you are. 
drag show? That's ludicrous. He's never been in my home. He's lied. We tried to serve him defamation papers. Okay. And he's so shady that we can't even track him down because he's not even welcome at the places what that he works. I'm sorry, but this is the last question I'm going to ask. What about these pictures of you with <laughs> him, Richard Stevens? R and what about the, is, the post? Mm. I performed for Carrie's birthday. I performed in her home. That's not I true. I performed for her at That's some of true. the seediest bars in Phoenix. I don't want to ask these questions. I ask you to address them. <laughs> That's I, it. Actually, I think you, I think you do want to ask him, but you don't want to ask about 2,000 mules. Oh, got him. You don't want to ask about this obviously untrue, dumbass conspiracy theory. What's wrong with you? You'd rather talk about, you know, me being a massive hypocrite according to my own ideology and show pictures proving that you're correct about that. I think you do want to ask about this. This is absolutely ludicrous. I'm, I'm talking about drag shows in schools. This is what triggered this man. Somebody who goes to a drag show with female impersonators is one thing. We don't want our tax money going into drag shows at school. Oh, tax, tax money going to drag shows at school? Ah, oh, this is glorious. This is amazing. <laughs> I love this clip. And I like how she says, well, look, going to drag shows is one thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an adult, that's one thing. Well, what I'm saying is for the kids, maybe not for the kids, but for the adults, it's cool. And that's why I went for, like, 20 years straight. And whatever, bro. Whatever. Look, this is the classic Republican thing. How many times did we see one version or another of this stuff happening? Now, look, they consider all this stuff sinful and degenerate behavior. And what's the old saying? Silent sinners scream the loudest. Ain't that the truth? Look, that's what we're seeing here. Ted Haggard, for years and years, would go out there and talk about how, you know, homosexuality is evil and it's wrong and it's bad. So bad. And then he got caught doing crystal meth with a gay hooker. I'm sure they were doing other stuff too. There are there were a number of Republican Congress people, anti-gay voting records, who were caught in New Jersey Turnpike bathrooms trying to blow Bob and Steve. Now, there's nothing wrong with being gay. There's nothing wrong with being a drag queen. There's nothing wrong with being trans or any of this stuff. But they say there is. They think it's a sin. They think it's degenerate behavior. They talk about it nonstop, and then you look away for five seconds, and they're engaging in that exact behavior that they've just been condemning nonstop for years. So, God, they're so imagine wasting your life on stuff like this. You're running for public office. If you're running for public office, you know what you should care about? Let me end homelessness in my state. I'm sure there's homeless veterans in her home state. End homelessness. Raise wages. Get people health care. Fix the infrastructure. You know how much she's probably talking about these things? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Because she's lost her mind on the battlefield of the culture war, and she's been outed as a preposterous hypocrite. Okay, I understand and what you're making a difference the there, but you're I'm saying his allegations yeah. are wrong, is They're what you're false. saying. Yes, okay. I am. Right. And I'm really, I'm really appalled that you would spend time on a false story like I'm appalled, good sir. How dare you show pictures that I don't like of me doing things that I claim are immoral. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. God damn it, I hate these people. Ugh. Not, not a bad job there from uh, Brett Bear. Not a bad job there. It, 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 and guys, understand something. These are the Trumpy candidates. These are the Trumpy candidates. You know how Trump in 2016 did a lot of fake populism stuff and pretended to care about I'm not going to outsource your jobs, I'm not going to cut Social Security, etc.? Um, well, that Trump is gone. He's now the Fox News grandpa. He cannot shut the fuck up about an election being stolen from him, even though it wasn't. And all of his candidates are just the ones who are most insane on the culture war. Who just, you know, 24-7, they're talking about, like, drag queens or trans kids or whatever. Like, it's, 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 that's it. That's all they talk about. That's all they care about. And at the end of the day, apparently, all of them are, like, either closet trans or going to drag shows nonstop or engaging in the exact kind of behavior that they castigate as immoral 24-7. What else is there to say? If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.